right, so in this video we're going to look to find the nullity of A. Remember when I find the nullity I want to look at the null space and how many vectors are inside the null space. So I'm going to set up my homogeneous equation, AX equals zero, and then to solve that I'm going to make an augmented matrix. And I can either use my calculator or I can do my reduced row echelon by hand and then subtracting twice this row. And now I can continue to get a zero up here. So I will do one, zero, negative one, negative two, zero, one, two, three. So now in this case, I can see that I have two free variables. The x3 and x4 variables are gonna be my free variables. So in this situation, I could set up a uh, solution space for my null space. So I'm just gonna write it as vector x. All right, so in this case, if I let my x4 variable be t, my x3 variable be s, then let's think about this. I've got x1 equals s plus 2t x2 is going to be equal to negative 2s minus 3t. And of course, we said x3 was s, x4 was t. So looking at it in parametric form, I would have 1, negative 2, 1, 0, s, plus 2, negative 3, 0, 1, t. I've got two vectors. Again, we had two free variables. So that means my nullity of A is going to be 2. Notice these are linearly independent, and these are the vectors that also make the basis of my null space.